an alumnus of Northern Kentucky University, has recently published a suspense novel. Here you can see it, and much of it is set actually at Northern Kentucky University. So here to tell us all about his work is Mike Dew. Welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you very much for having me. Okay, so right now I'm holding up in material, and it's just book one. Book one of three, yes. Which, fantastic. Congratulations, first Thank of you. all, for getting it published. Uh, very quickly, what is this book and the series about? Uh, well, the underlying current is about faith versus science, mm -hmm. and um, it, it's, that's, that's the backdrop. And it really has to do with the discovery that brings to light the ability to prove faith. And w faith, in essence, would become knowledge at that point if you could actually prove it scientifically. Now, why did you choose then to set that huge theme at Northern Kentucky campus? <laughs> well, I'm a graduate from NKU in 87. And uh, so as I started to write the story, I would start to have images come to mind mm -hmm. about, okay, so I'm walking down this hallway in the dorms or whatnot, and realized, well, these are all images from when I went to school. So I may as well just set this at NKU. Uh, but then there was a little bit of a wrinkle because when I went back to campus to mm -hmm. try to verify uh, that everything was where I remember it to be. That sure, sure. I want to make sure. Changed. Yeah, the cafeteria isn't there, <laughs> and it was different. Oh, it's it's much different. It's much larger. And uh, since that time, I've I've uh, talked with a number of people on the campus about the development of the school. Certainly, they've got all kinds of great things going for them now, technologically. Uh, uh, what with the sports program being Division One, so it's it's really great uh, what's happening there. At so then, how did you? work that into the books in the sense of in your head you had images of the old campus and then you realize today it is a very different new bigger campus. Well uh, it's sort of an amalgam of old and new uh, so to facilitate things that I wanted to have happen in the storyline I, I would make things up about the campus so there are certain restaurants just off the campus that don't really exist but mm -hmm. uh, so things could happen there the way I wanted them to so it's a little bit of old and new I think people from my generation who I may have gone to school with may read this and say, oh, I remember that, uh, whereas other people will, who are newer, perhaps going to school there now, will read it and say, yeah, I, I can connect with that as well. Which is fantastic. And how do uh, we get a hold of this book uh, if you're an alumnus and you want to check out the different college landmarks or whether you're just interested in the work? Uh, you can go to my website at mikedew.com. That's the last name is D-U-E, mm -hmm. and uh, pretty simple to get there, and there are links where you can get this online. Uh, it's also available in a downloadable format for the Kindle. All right, fantastic. Now, this is book one of three. Discovery is already out. If you can, mm -hmm. you know, go to your website and get it. Now, when do you expect two and three to be out? Uh, they're already written, so mm -hmm. it's just a matter of uh, staggering them a little bit. So within a month, I should have the second book out. And probably early fall, I'll have book number three available. All right. Well, congratulations, Mike, on Great, the publishing of this new series. Uh, fantastic that it features a local landmark, and uh, we appreciate you for being here this morning. Thank you so much. Stay with Local 12. We will be right back after this break.